so we're just back from Artist Lab. I've been to pick up this glass look for the table. I went prepared, it's quite long, it's 1 metre 70 by 80 centimetres wide, and the other end's up there. Look, got it back, no problems. I went prepared, took lots of clothes to cushion it, these buckets to hold that end up, and a bucket to hold the other end up. There's the other end. Alice had to sit bolt upright, so we had to put that seat down so it would come over here and it weren't fortunately in my way for changing gear but it just fit in and that's in a Land Rover there's the end look halfway through this seat I've spent all week just cleaning stuff up here artifacts all them boxes are full of artifacts are all going in there and uh, this iron stuff lot cleaned up yesterday so it'll all be going in there and I put beading around this edge here, glued it on, but I took this one off yesterday because then I can slide the glass in and then just put the beading up to fit right up to the glass. So it should be a good fit with a bit of look. So what prompted me to make the dining table was this one. This is a coffee table I made a few months ago. And um, I'll tell you how I did it, uh, but I'll, first let me tell you what's in it. Uh, so these are mainly Roman artefacts, not all of them, but mostly. Um, locks, part of a Roman lock, part of a Roman lock, part of a sword tip or dagger tip. Uh, but that's probably Bronze Age. Uh, mostly Roman stuff, rings as you can see, and even Celtic stuff down the bottom there. Fibula brooches. Part of a talk that's like a, a necklace, a Roman buckle, and everything here is Roman coins, or everything you see is Roman there. And these are silver hammers, other pieces, medieval, uh, they call them in German stemples. It's like stamps, you know, when they used to do a letter with the wax and stamp it. Well, that's what they are there, those four things there buckles, bits and pieces and uh, even a, a Bronze Age spear tip there. So I did that one and what I did was I put some inch and, inch and a half by inch and a half on top of this table, screwed it down, uh, separated it into three sections by putting inch and a half by inch and a half in there. Then I bought the glass and I put the beading around the edge of there and just painted everything black and it worked out rather well. In fact, it was so nice that I decided to do the dining table. In fact, my wife asked me, why don't you do the dining table? So I did. And I bought the glass from Bratislava and it was 1.7 metres long. That's about five feet or maybe a bit more. Uh, and here's the result. This is that piece of glass. Let me just switch the light on here so you can see a little bit better. There we go. Um, and I did the same here. I just put the inching off, screwed it to the top of the table, painted it black, but you can see it's actually brown, but I painted the top black. Um, inching off by inching off all the way around, and again separated it into three sections by putting inching off by inching off in there and in there, and I filled it with some other finds. I've actually got enough stuff to uh, do another table, a smallish one, another coffee table. But you can see everything here and how it finished up and I put the bead in around after. Uh, and I sealed this one in with silicon, as you can see there. Uh, but there is a way I can, I can get this glass out uh, and it's there. I don't know if you see that block of wood there and I've got Look, you see, I can push the glass up if I want and uh, take stuff out or put stuff in. Although I don't think I've got any room to put any more stuff in, but even bits of pottery. So that's the end result. So two tables. If you want any advice on how to do it, then please contact me and I'm happy to tell you. By the way, the glass I did have, um, I had the edges rounded off there so nobody would cut the soles on them uh, so I would do that if you make your own coffee table but there you go let me stand at this end you can 
probably see it a lot better there. How to make a display coffee table. <laughs>